Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so good morning, everyone. So sorry for the delay. No, um... Medyo I had some trouble uh, with the internet connection. So, this morning we're going to have a new topic, which is, although I wasn't able to finish last time, no, but anyway, the reading material is available in your Google Classroom. So, we are going to have a new topic um, for this morning. I a new topic is because this is actually our last week before our finals week. No, um, I thought na mag final sta na sa mga 28, 27, no, but it was announced last night that your finals exam will be this week, no, 22 to 23, but you will not have that for my subject, no, since I wasn't able to have any discussion for a week and a half due to my um prior commitment last week, no, na mention na to na ako daan, um, hot na lang ako karong si Mana o Klasi, para sa Monday mo mag-finals. So, at least ang coverage ninyo will be um, Philippine literature and um, Philippine traditional games. Uh, wala ito nakaabot, no? Sa ito ang target goal na maabot ang Philippine um, entertainment industry, which is part of um, pop culture. Dara mo na mo ng pop culture no, sa entertainment industry, television. Um, but anyway... I'll try to upload a reading material for that, even though wala ta nakaabot ang nao class eh. So, again, na coverage for your exam will be Phil Philippine Lit. No, katong um, different nga, age, uh, nga eras, no, from pre-colonial down to uh, karun na, no, nga, nga current uh, Philippine literature, and then um, Philippine traditional games. It's really quite easy raman to, uh, to identify Philippine traditional games. I've only chosen... Um, if you, no, and then, what is that, no, that's it. But for, for your other subjects, I do not know, because it was announced 22 to 23, because you will also have our deliberation of honors, hopefully, um, you will have a list of honors here. I do not know yet, I do not have your grades from the other subjects. But you will see, no, I will ask Manjapun from the registrar. So it will take some time to go to deliberate, maybe not this month. Kay other teachers are also preparing your grades, most probably by May. Anyway, I will announce it in your group chat once the DINS list is already um posted, no? And I can also post that one in in or say go a post from puna sa Facebook page put sa school pohon. No, so katong mga aspiring nga mo din's list. Although, no, as much as we want to to refrain from giving honors karon nga year because everyone is struggling. Not everyone has equal um resources when it comes to online class. Pero siguro as ko an lang, no, as part of your motivation, no, and as a reward for those who have um struggled, no, og nagmaintain ra po ng ilahang um eagerness to learn despite the pandemic. Okay, so I would like to share my screen with you. We're going to have two classes karun nga week ha, so Monday and then Wednesday. Okay, so I'm going to show you a video, but there is no audio. It is because ko ano um wala na ko na supposedly if I can screencast ako ta ang i i ko an i schedule sa Google calendar. I wasn't able to do that. Kaya gadali dali na ako kanina no kay walga gabiyahi ko nag ko na lang ko og meeting link. So without audio na lang anyway. I'll try to see if I can provide captions. Okay. I hope you can see my screen. Wait lang ha, kay. Naghang.
player crouches while other players jump over him or her. The other crouching players gradually stands, making it harder for other players to jump over him or her. During my elementary days, I really loved doing Luxong Baka. I really love playing this game because uh, it really signifies as being a Filipino. The objective of the game is to cross a series of lines guarded by the uh, opposing team. Apart from that, there will be a perpendicular line wherein there is also a guard. Members of the opposing team will try to cross all the way to the far end and back. If one member is stuck, the whole group will be it. When I was uh, a kid, I used to play this this patintero. Even in the night, used to play this game patintero. We are using that water just to. Okay, sorry, kayo last kay hina ka internet na drop ang kwan. Um, sweet lang for a while. Na po ni ni request o sulod mo ng dili mo ning hang kadayot lang. I'll try lang sa phone kung maana. Hina yung internet, pasensya ka ayo. Okay. Minimize lang ako ang screen. Kamarag ning hang, bugat ka ayo. YouTube review, bugat ka ka ayo. Wala mo ko sa kuan class sa sa balay na medyo hinay dire sa school. No, sige lang. I'll try to rewind if I can. Okay. May pangka sa kayo nag-hang. Siguro yung sakuan. May check internet. Okay, actually, um, I'm using one. No, niya, bugat-bugat na siya lately. Kaya naghanak ako recordings. I need to delete some of them. So that I can also... Video of... I'll stop for a while. I don't know if I can. Okay. We are using that water. Actually, basta mag... Magdungan ang request mang good o screen share. Masay mo hang. Sabi na di ka daog ang internet. I'll screen share again. Sorry if kayo na for the inconvenience. I know it's annoying. Nga putol-putol. But we will try that again. Okay. It's already 8.20. Kalas na kayo oras. Okay, we'll just stop here na lang class. Okay, it's really time-consuming. Okay. So, I know um we've only seen half of the video. But, can anybody tell me? Nags-presenting na noon siya. So, can anybody tell me what the video is all about? Like, what do you think are they doing in the video? You can unmute your microphone. Yes, I am. About sa kuanda. About sa kalainan sa mga bata sa una o sa bata ka ron. Kay ang mga bata sa una, madula di gawa sa balay para sa mga magdulag patintero. Then, karo ang mga bata ron, magsigina lagdula o mga gadgets. Wala na gawas-gawas lang. So, 
What do you think no ang experience sa mga bata sa una when it comes to traditional games compared to karon nga more na taon on mobile games no do you think it's enjoyable mas enjoyable ang karon kaysa sa una Dili dam enjoyable man guro ang gam magamit sila gadget dam pero mas lain ra jud sa una dam ba nga kuha na sila ay ma-socialize na sila makamit sila new friends dam correct no that, that's sa actually gawad. true no i i know some of you have already experienced this no kay dili man siguro kita tanan na nagmata sa online games dayon no uh, most especially if brown out no or for example if we have um nearby friends no who happen to be our neighbors po no so we usually are quite fond of playing um traditional filipino games no so actually um they have played some katong mga na dito sa video class kay those are actually professionals already no ang usa kay banker ang usa OFW no ang usa kay um go work sa sa office or um an events consultant no but um they're actually playing different traditional um filipino games no like patintero like luksong baka luksong tinik no and um one of of the things that they mentioned is that when they were young no they reminisce pa nila sa una nga sadya pa kayo sa una kay um elementary pa sila even chinese garter no balo ko kalaban sa mga babae diri chinese garter da yun na no and um they would often tell nga it, it's quite fun because of course no they can socialize and then they can also make new friends no and us high pud ka na ato ang pagka resourcefulness no makuan po nato ma magamit nato no because there were very limited resources before no atong ginagamit is kanara mga butang nga makita nato like sticks no or stones or even our own bodies ginagamit nato siya as as murag um means to play a game no either himo ani mo og props imong kauban nga kuan no or na siya yung role nga they have to play in the game no we don't have um actual equipment no nga magamit sa mo sa game no we use what is found in our in our backyard no so yung ana na sa una and um also no some of us due to the pandemic no we were not able to socialize anymore but lahi ra jud no kanang magdula ka og mobile games although it's fun it's entertaining pero makalo it's really draining no not only that it's very time consuming no playing games outside is is time consuming but it's draining in a way nga lahi ang ang luya man gud nga gadula ka sa gawas kaysa kanang magdula ka sa sulod nga mag- cellphone na no sakit pa imong mata nya maluya pa ka dito sa gawas is although o kapuyon ka hangakon ka no kutasan ka kay kuan kay kan sigig dinaganay no basa na kay kagsingot no you're dirty because kaligid-ligid mo pero it's fun no and and um kanang experience nga you're able to make new friends as well so this morning i know you've already noticed naman nga our topic is traditional filipino games so again part of our culture as filipinos kay again we are very sociable beings no and some of the things that they would often um no f- foreigners no magto sila sa gawas ang ilaju nang iingon dayon sa kon nga filipinos are very sociable no they're very hospitable and kanang friendly kay sila kay kanang kanang masking dili kayo muka ila kay kuan kayo sila kanang very accommodating ning kaayo no and it's part of actually our culture because we're very sociable people no nga dili ta kuan dili ta authors sure naana ta nga naatay companion all the time no So, I'll be introducing to you a, a different traditional Filipino games. This is quite useful po, you know, um, once you become like a tour guide or when you own a tour and travel company. Everything that you know about the Philippines, you, know, you have to keep in mind. Kaya nga naman, no, once you advertise a destination or even maskin koan lang, no, um, ato ibutang as a representative of our country because when we become tour guides or or If we work in the tourism industry, we become representatives of our country because there are a lot of foreigners that who will visit our place, no? And they would tend to ask a local, "What are your usual delicacies here, no? Or on some man ang inyong culture, no? What games do you play? Or for example, what is your form of entertainment, no? Or what languages do you speak? So, kanat tanan what you learned about our culture, you really have to to present that to to um a foreigner, no? And kita nga ang uban sa to nagmata na sa 
digital age, malimta na nato ang kanyang mga traditional games. So, just a refresher lang, no? Sabi na, naiuban din mga arcade, kaayo nun, no? yeah. Wala, wala ta kadula og mga ani nga, nga dula no like Chinese garter um luksong tinik no ang kambor kambor per lahi na sa ato din no pat ko ay siya patintero so again no we're going to discuss different traditional games in the Philippines so these are games commonly played by children usually using native materials or instruments no as Filipinos again we're not really a very rich country but um, we do have a lot of, of resources nga makita na to, no? just, just even in our own backyard and that's what makes us very resourceful. So again, no, due to the limited resources of toys and especially during sa, sa una nga panahon no, nga, um, wala man dito nagmata nga, nga we were given toys made from factories. No? Sometimes we just make our own toys from scratch no? or from scraps. So due to the limited resources of toys of Filipino children, they usually come up with inventing games without the need of anything but the players themselves, no? Sometimes they would use their bodies, no? Or, or, kanang mga leaves or twigs, no? So, with flexibility of a real human to think and act makes the game more interesting and challenging because it is a tradition for Filipinos to play in a bigger and spacious area. So, most games are usually played outside the house. Some games are played or held during town festas in the provinces, no? like Palo Cebu, for example. So, these games of Filipino children include the following. So, not all Filipino games haga rely on equipment. Others, they would use their bodies. no? Like, for example, Agawan Base. No? So, this is the bahaw bahaw Mungurni and Tawag sa to, ano? So, these are two teams with two bases. How many players on each team depends on the players. Uh, there are two bases which each team claims as their own. So, na base 1, na base 2. Na, so, the goal is to tag the other team's base without getting tagged. If you're tagged, you're transferred to the other team and you must be rescued by your own team. Na, so, you are held as, um, mag-capture ka as prisoner, no? And dito ka sa pikas nga base and then mag muana din ka para dakpon ka or or a rescue kasi muhang teammates. So there are several variations which the rules all ch are changed. In some, you can connect other items on the base so you can easily touch the base. Like for example, if your base is a tree trunk, pwede ka mo puno dira. Like for example, like dako nga bato, no? Kay, uh, or i-extend mo yung base, magbutang ka dira o bangko, no? So that um, you can easily catch um, other Team, uh, team players no, sa pikas nga base. Kay, you can tag other people, pero dili sila ka tag ni mo once you touch your own base. Diba, marugong magunro na ang rule, no? So, there are usually set points, such as the first team to tag the other team five times wins. So, kung ikalima sila makatag sa pikas nga grupo, sila ang winning team. So, you can tag other people who has touched their base before you and are on the opposite team. If they touch their base after you've touched your base, they can tag you. If you can tag them. So, again, no, you, uh, they can tag you if you touch your base. Kung makaabot ka dito, pero if dilig ka kahikap si mong ba base, si mong base, no? Um, that's the time nga dali, madakpan ka, no? Pwede ka nila madakop and ibutang ka nila sila hanga base. So, Pars ani nga picture no although it, it's really not quite clear no kay di man to siya ma zoom in I try to zoom in Usually in PE no sa una kadung dum ko ginapadula jud mi ani sa PE kay para makuan lagi mi maka experience mi sa traditional Filipino games no so pars ani this is a, um a captured team player from team A so, mo touch sa base, pero reach out niyang hand para ma rescue siya sa iyang team member. If you happen to be in the open and um, the person from team A catches you, yung wala pa ka touch mong base, you will be held capture. No? Pero if maka touch kasi mong base, base before siya maka, maka touch ni mo, then you are safe. No? And you can tag them in, in return. So, that's aga one base. No? Or, oh, baho mo na sa tonga language. So, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, next is Agawang Sulok. So, this is just like, um, 
Marsha og Koan. Marsha pun siya agawan base. So, but the difference between agawan sulok, I'll just zoom in, is a catch and own a corner. So, for example, no, si player or si it, no, katong mudakop na siya sa tunga, no, sa center. So, for example, the room, pares aneo sa ka-room. So, na siya sa center itong ibutang. And then, ang ubang players must find a corner wherein they can mag dira siya nga corner magstay and then they have to exchange corners from time to time so dili pwede nga magstay ka in that corner forever no like for example dili ako sa pikas nga corner magstay ni hapit ako madakpan sa sa it no or sa katong um sa so tawagan nato sa bisaya ako siya na ang mo or siya ang it no so ako i have to transfer from another corner no para oh mas safe na pud ko no so he have to exchange Um, places no from one base to another. So for example, if you're in a room, so there are four bases. Okay, there are four corners man in the room, and then for example, if there are um, ten players, no, so ang nine kabuk players they have to um, go in a corner. For example, to lose sila so sa corner no, yung magdasok dun na sila so na iusa na nga may kapan ni ni it no, siya na pud ang mapuli. So ang kona na is si it dili siya pwede mo gawas dito sa center or sa circle kung asa siya kutobra. No? So, the challenge there is the, um, the it has to tag a person from a corner um, without going out of the circle or in the middle. And then, katong mga other players nga dili it, no? they have to survive by exchanging corners no? from one another. No? So, dili siya pwede magstay forever in ang corner. That's agawang sulok. No, next is arrow lilim or sun and shade. So the it or the tagger tries to tag or touch one of the players who is in direct contact with the light. So for example, if atong ibotang no, you're playing on a sunny day, if um you're in direct contact with the light, no, pwede ka madak pa ni it no, or ni tagger. No, so you have to find a shade or shady spot, like for example a roof or under a tree no so that you can be safe and again mechanics is dili ka pwede magdugay for so long i nga shade it actually built our endurance no because um most of our games includes running and hiding oh next is bahay bahaya no commonly sa mga babae man siya no but there are other kono i remember when we had this namon koy mga lalaking classmates pud mag apil apil aning bahay bahaya no so it's a role playing game where, where the children act as members of an imaginary family no so ikaw abi ang mama ikaw ang papa no niya ang may mga anak no and sometimes to the extent that one of the players becomes the family pet no then they act out various household situations such as dinner going to mass and the like no the most common in bahay bahayan is magluto luto no um you can sometimes you, you pick leaves no as currencies kuno hay no or sa mo sa una kay kanang sa sungka ano mo na mo himog kanang bugas kuno hay no so just imaginary uh, role playing next is bahay kubo no so this is quite simple no other children does this no it's a hand clapping game generally involving four people though they are split into two pairs no a pair having two people facing each other and all members from both pairs facing the center so the two pairs being perpendicular to each other so each pair then does a hand clapping routine so siguro no ranging from easy up to uh, hard while singing the bahay kubo at the middle of the song so dili mo humanon ang ang kanta no in the middle of the song bahay kubo each pair exchanges routines with the other um, pair no so mag switch sila og og partner So the mechanic there is for you to win, no? So dapat ko an ma humani mo ang routine or hand clapping routine without um getting a mis a mistake, no? Even if mag exchange pa mo ang pair. Okay, next is Bati Cobra. So this is a hitting and catching game. This game is played outdoors only by two or more players. So um to play this game, no, you will need two bamboo sticks, one long and one short are required. So a player acts as a batter and stands opposite of the other players at a distance. So si batter hold sa katong taas ka ayong a bamboo stick. Ihapak niya ang katong gamay ng stick. Malagpot ng itong gamay ng stick sa loon to sa katong obang players. So for example, there are ten players. Nine ang maong musalo sa stick 
And then the other is mao ang batter. Siya ang katong mo labay no sa stick. So i hit niya ang katong short stick with the long stick and ikalupad ana other players on the opposite side will catch the stick. Whoever catches the stick will become the next batter. But if the members or the other players are unable to um let's say catch the stick, so ibutang na ni batter ang long stick sa ground and the other players kung kinsa to makapunit sa short stick um, they will try to hit the long stick so ilabay niya balik tong short stick no per dapat maigo ang long stick if maigo ganito then katong nga player nga nakaigo will become the next batter so na siya two instances no so one is ilabay ni batter ang short stick using the long stick and whoever catches it becomes the next batter that's quite easy to understand but if ever nobody catches the stick, no, so out of the nine players, na ay usa dira abi mo volunteer nga mo pick up sa short stick, ilabay niya balik dito sa batter, making sure that maigo niya ang long stick. If ever maigo niya siya ang next nga batter. If wala, di, di siya pun maigo, then kato nga batter, tung first batter, mapadayo na siya pun siya ugdula sa game until na anay makasalo or makaigo sa stick. Next is Bulong Pari, or Whisper It to the Priest. So it is composed of two teams and an it. The leader of Team A goes to the priest and whispers one of the names of the players of Team B. Then he returns to his place and the priest calls out Lapit, or Approach. One of the players of Team B should approach the priest. And if um, it happens to be the person whom the leader of Team A mentioned, the priest will say Boom or Bong. The player then falls out of line. And stay somewhere near the priest as a prisoner. So, for example, again, ta ibotang, oh, you have eleven players. No, so ang osa dira, no ang odd number si eleventh member siya ang may mung priest. So there are five members sa pikas ng side, team A na ay five members sa team B. And then ang buhaton na nila is si team A abi ang una magtoss coin man mo ana no so si team A mado lang usa ka member mohong siya nga IV o mohong abi siya kay si IV taga team B man so dayon after na si priest mo ana din siya approach no or lapit so kung modul abi si Anna Marie so meaning sa yup no dili mao si Anna Marie kan sa team B man kay modul abi si Anna Marie from team B so dili mao Okay, next, si Team B na pod, munghong na pod si Anna Marie. Yan na pong ihonghong nga si Koay na pod. Si May Kono from Team A. Okay, so si Pari ra ang makadungog, Anna. So, mabalik na pod si Anna Marie. And then, ingon na pod ang priest o glapit. Nga mo dool da yun si May from Team A. And then, maingon da yun ang priest o boom. Meaning, it's correct, no? Sakto ang gigas ni Anna. Team B. So, si May from Team A will become a prisoner. So, yung ano, very simple. Next is Buan Buan Buan. So, a rough circle is drawn on the ground and one person from the group is tag or becomes the tagger. He is not allowed to enter the circle but instead has to touch one of the people inside the circle without having entered it. If he succeeds, he can enter the circle and the person that he touched becomes the next one tag. So, ang circle pa, hindi po ni anak kada ko, no? Just enough nga maigo sila tanan. Pero, of course, no? Mahikapan po ni, kawain, ni tagger. So, next is kalahuyo or hole in. So, it is an outdoor game by 2 to 10 players. Accurate targeting is the skill developed in this game because the objective of each player is to hit the anak or small stones or objects with the use of the pamato, trying to send it to the hole. In short, pars na sa Jolen, good nga we're in. Um, for example, oh, two to three meter, layo na siya kayo, no? Two to three meter distance, sabi, or a meter distance, mag-draw mo o um, drawing line, na dila nakakutob, and then you try to make sure that your, one of your stones or draw line mo sulito sa hole using um, a stick. Or pitkan na lang ni mo, no? Banana, pitkan na man na nila para mo sulito sa hole. Once kayo mahurutan na ni mong mga anak or jolen na masul dito sa hole, then you become a winner. No? So, mura man na siya. And then, ang katong pinaka, for example, lima mo kabuok, no, niya, ang katong member, ito ibot ang, ang last member, ang ikalimang nga member, 
daghan pa siyag anak nga nabilin or small stones or jollens nabilin, mahimo siya nga alila or mochacho. Kaya siya man ang loser. No, kaya the goal there is to make sure nga usan na lang ka anak or usa ka jollen na mabilin sa imuha. Nga wala na sulod sa hole. But, of course, if ikaw, no, ato ibotang um, dili ka asintado, no, dili ma sulod na ni mong mga jollen sa hole, you become the mochacho because you become the loser, then, Um, for the entire game, imong buhaton is murag priya sa tennis no ikaw ang mooy mukuha sa bola no sa imuhang uh, sa, sa katong other members no so for example mo pitik ang usa ka member nya nalagpot dito ayon Jolen since ikaw man ang mochacho kay ikaw man ang loser then ikaw ang mo punit sa Jolen and mo ulit to balik sa sa winner no or sa katong usa ka member so course sang gisummary so kay taas kayo ang explanation ana man ka simple ang hole in or kalahuyo nga game. Next is Chinese garter. This is actually quite common in elementary nung kita pa man mo sa una tong wala pa pandemic wherein most girls play this game, no? Not just girls, no, even kanang kuan. Anyone can play this game, no? So, two people hold um both ends of a stretch garter horizontally while the others attempt to cross over it. The goal is to cross without having tripped on the garter. With each round, the garter's height is made higher than the previous round. So, magsarap na sa ubos, ang tun mo, pasakaan siya, no? So, the game st- uh, starts with the garter at an ankle level, knee level until the garter is positioned above the head. The higher rounds demands dexterity, and the players generally leap with their feet first in the air. So, their feet cross over the garter, and they end up landing on the other side. So, naiuban nga mag um, wheelbarrow. Also, with higher levels, doing cartwheels, oh no, not wheelbarrow, cartwheels day, to cross the garter is allowed. Next is iring iring. Now, go around and around until the hanky drops. So, after the it is determined or the tagger is determined, he or she goes around the circle and drops a handkerchief behind one of the players in the circle. If the player notices the handkerchief, he or she has to pick up the handkerchief and go after the tagger around the circle. If the tagger um, has to reach the vacant spot left by the player before it is tagged, otherwise, the tagger has to take the handkerchief and repeat the process all over the, all over again. Next is Juego de Anilio, or a game notably Spanish in influence. The game literally translates to a game of rings. This is um more on... Koano, um, mas trigger sa siyang activity because this involves a horse, no? And this has been played kwan pa rin, during Spanish times. Bakay, you'll be riding a horse um, and playing this game, no? So you'll ride the horse while holding a dagger. So na ay mga rings or for example, um, catching rings nga ibitay sa chi and you have to struck it or catch no those rings um, using the dagger. So it's dangerous because, of course, no. Not only that you will, re- uh, it will require you to ride the horse, but also, no, you'll be, um, carrying with you a dagger. No, kadi mani mo ma ma to ang rope ng our ring is attached in the tree. You know, without the dagger. Next is, juego de prenda. So game of looking for the missing bird. There is no limit to the number of players that can play this game. Each player sit in a circle with the leader in the middle. Each player adopts a name of a tree or flower that is given by the leader. For example, if I have 10 names, um, okay, so since you are 10 kabuok, then I will have 10 names. Ikaw nangka, ikaw ilang ilang, ikaw maya, ikaw kay um, nangka, oh, so may anak, no? And then maghatag dayon og um, story. No, as a leader of a lost bird that was owned by a king. After then, maingon dayo na siya. After that, no, maingon dayo na si si leader nga. The bird of the king was lost yesterday. Did you find it? Ilang ilang. So the player who adopted the name of the ilang ilang tree at once answers that he or she has not found it. So the leader continues to ask other trees whether the bird was hidden in them. So meaning. No, you will adopt a name of each tree or an animal, and then, or for example, may ngon dayon ka nga. Um, naadira ang bird nagtago, so kung wala, then 
Oh, kung ano dayon? Padayon na Japan siya og as, no? Kung asa sa mga cheese um, na hidden ang bird. So, if a player cannot answer after the third count, he or she is made to deposit a thing that he or she owns to the leader until the leader has been able to gather a lot of things from the members. So, kung ano siya, no? Um, this is a very risky game because you will have to deposit a thing that you have and if dili ka makatagan and ang katong mga members ang maka-own ato si mong butang. For, take for example, um, pangitaon ako out of the five trees, like for example, ilang-ilang, nangka, um, o oh, banana tree, abi, no, nyog, and then wala ko nakagas out of all of those five trees. Sa third time na ko nga guess, wala ko nakagas, ana kung asa ang bird na katago, then I will have to deposit my ring. Then ako ang ring, ang katagian na na ako ang mga members na. So, dili na ako siya makuha. So, that's why go deprenda. Okay? Next is Kapitang Bakod. Touch the post or you're it. So, mara po din siya langit lupa, no? Dili ka matag once you touch a fence. Basta langit lupa is dili ka dakpon kung naaka sa higher ground. Ang kapit, uh, kapitang bakod is dili ka matag if um, you're, you are able to touch a fence or a wall or a bakod, no? So, mara na siya. Or even post, no? Kung wala na siya fence available. Okay, next is langit lupa. So, heaven and earth, no? So, sa iyo naman kayo ni siya, no, dili ka madakpan kung nakas higher ground, but dili po ka pwede magstay dito forever, no, ihapan po ka og 1 to 5 ni Tagger, and you have to run to another spot, no, wherein pwede ka kasaka. So, that's langit lupa. Okay, next is lawin at sisiw, or hawk and chicken. I think this is the last one before tamu and So, this game is played by 10 or more players. It can be played indoors or outdoors. So, one player is chosen as the hawk and another as the hen. So, for example, in a line of 10, in a line of 10, so, sa hen, ang hen ang nasa pinakauna sa line, while ang hawk na ito sa pinaka last nga line. So, the other chickens, um, they have to stand behind one another while holding each other's waist. Di ka siya maklaro diri, but, but um, these are actually girls lining up. No, and then ang nasa tubangan is ang hen. Walang well, naasa likod ang hawk. Ang nasa middle ng girls nga kalinya kay ang mga chicken. So the hawk will buy a chicken from the hen. So for example, if there are five chickens, so mo buy si hawk og usaka chicken from the hen. So, the hawk will then take the chicken, ask him to hunt for food, then goes to sleep. So, si chicken, may mo siya mag-alalay ni hawk for a day. So, kunuhay, no, si hawk matulog or maging ana, no, person ng sa tago-tagoan. So, for example, when the hawk is asleep, the chicken will return to the hen. So, mabalik siya sa hen. The hawk wakes up and tries to get back the chicken he bought while the hen and the other chickens prevent the hawk from catching the chicken. In what way? So, mutuyok si hawk diri sa line of girls. Pangitaon niya si chicken. Then, si chicken, taguon siya ni hen. No? Either, magtuyok sila diri. No? Dilit nila ipadakop si hen. If the hawk succeeds in taking the chicken, the chicken is taken and punished. But if the hawk fails to catch the chicken, like for example, after a count of 20, di siya pun siya makakatch the chicken, and the hawk will try to buy another chicken from the hen. Okay. What time is it? Okay, last na lang. Okay, luksong baka, jump over the cow. So, popular variation of luksong tinik. No? Ang luksong tinik is more on nai duha kabok players no? and molingkod sila and then magpareha sa Chinese garter, no? makamadugayan mo, taas mo, taas ang ilahang obstacle nga ambakan and dapat dili matouch ang ilahang feet sa fingers, no, nga mo represent as thorns. Pero sa luksong baka, so, ang usa ka player mo crouch siya while the other player jumps over him or her. The crouching player gradually stands up as the game progresses, making it harder for the other players to jump over him or her. So, una mo, mulingkod sa siya or mudoko siya until kamadugayan no, mo, mo hinay-hinay nagtindog si player nga gana crouch so it will very it will make it very difficult for the other player to jump over no the other player so that's luksong baka so those are traditional games actually napay uba no taas taas pa um you will just continue this one on Wednesday
Okay, it's almost 9. I have my class a third year. I'll try to be more early next time so that delay makuan ang internet. So, more ni siya ang different Filipino traditional games. Again, for those who um, came late, so your finals exam will supposedly be this week. Now, I don't know for the other subjects. Kaya nagklase raman sila last week. No? Um, for my subject, we will have our finals on Monday na lang. Para maka-discuss pa ko on Wednesday. And then coverage for the exam will be Philippine literature and this, no? Kaning Fil uh, Philippine traditional games. So, all of the reading materials are available in your Google Classroom. Um, same raman siguro Japan, no? Magkoan raman Japan ta. Um, enumeration, identification, coverage for the exam, I think will be uploaded on Sunday. Kaya na siyang i-announce sa GC. Pero, so good ka rin, hinahina na lang mo basa sa Philippine Lit. Okay, we're done with that. Although, wala na ko na continue last time, no? Due to technical difficulties. Pa, ko na lang. Um, hinahina lang basa ang reading materials dito. Okay? So, more na siya. And, I think on, on Monday, last naman na ninyo nga exam. I do not know if I can still formally meet you next week because, again, no, um, we are preparing for for your grades, no, for the dean's list. I have already uploaded your grades for midterm. Ito sa Google Classroom. Ang wala sa Google Classroom, naara inyong grades available sa registrar from prelim to midterm. In my subject, ra, I don't know with the others. You try to ask them. Anyway, mabalaan naman na unya kay pangayuan naman na namo kinsa to ang koan. And again, no, for the honors, I do not know if when may makapost, most probably, siguro sa may pa na siya. Kaya dili man tanan makompleto dayod, no? So, I think that's it. I think I'll just formally close our, our semester together, no? On Wednesday na lang. So that, um, in case nga dili, taka meet next week, at least, um, hatag ako mga final announcements. Okay. Okay, I would like to congratulate you, no, although you've been struggling a lot, no, it's not easy to to study online and knowing that there's a poor internet connection, no, and also there's a lot of activities that you need to comply, but you were able you were able to overcome it, no. Um one thing that I only regret is I was not able to uh, to provide a lot of time in our class for this school year due to my responsibilities as well, no, because I'm also studying while while got teach ko, which is really quite difficult. This year has been very difficult for me. I've I've been ko ano, I've been bombarded with a lot of works and I was not able to perform my role well as the program coordinator, which I deeply regret, no. I wish I could do so much more for the department this school year, but I was unable to, no, due to my other responsibilities. But hopefully um, mahuman naman may aning school year and wala naman ko responsibilities next school year kaya hopefully mak kung makagraduate ko karon nga, nga month or next month makafocus na ko on providing seminars and trainings for you I really wanted to open um, trainings and seminars for the first year because we were able to do that with the previous years no, I know Jilme has already experienced that one kay Last year, uh, first year and second year, we were able to have their um, trainings and seminars. We were also planning to have our NC2 certification. But due to the pandemic, we weren't able to to continue that in, in Bacolod, no, sa tourism promotion services. I was hoping uh, next year, hopefully, kay wala namang ko ano, mahuman naman dyan ko skwelaan na at least makafocus na dyan ko. Kay that is what tourism is all about, no, training and all. And second year naman mo ana no um I just have to be ready because uh demanding ang activity sa second year you will now be encountering tour guiding and sa second year you will also be making your own itinerary you will be knowing the global distribution system and 
some of the subjects can be very demanding. I'm not trying to to ano ha, to scare you. I'm just trying to to at least advise you nga nga kaning first year is just preparatory, no? Um, rigorous koana will be on the higher levels and and I do hope no nga everyone can can still ko uh, can still be around no by by that time kay I do have a lot of of plans hopefully nga dili na tay siya mapunta sa drawing no kay um all of the plans that that I wasn't able to implement the school year kay natunga jud akong time sa senior high sa pag na nako sa research and sa inyo ha mahimo na ko siya on on 2022 2023 nga school year. So let's just pray, okay? Kay kamo nga batch ang wala pa nakaagi og training and we really would like that, no? Ali has been has been annoying me for some time na kay it's an international actually nga nga, nga training. It can be very costly. I will have to kay anyway, um the dean is open to that man but ang ako lang is if you open ako sa inyo ha, ang cost man good ana pod it's an international certification meaning if you will work abroad like in Hilton Hotel um that certification pwede nimo na siya magamit no kay asking asa nga ng hotels gadawat siya na ng alay nga certification no? association of hotels and and uh, american um nga association of hotels and and resorts no so kuan na siya although um some of the filipino koan man organizers kay sila man jud ang kanang murag ga contact sa amo uh, but the trainers are actually from outside so mo na siya nya mangita pa kog other available trainings i know miss jen can provide you with that because she has um the resources um, siguro ko an amo lang ang planuhan unya kay kun dili na ko busy mura jud akong gusto matabo pud and you can also experience that para matingob na lang pud ta mo sa incoming first year pohon Okay. So naguna una na ko close sa semester. So on Wednesday, hopefully if I can finish the discussion, we will formally close this semester. And I think that's it, no? And then just be updated lang sa group chat. Kay mo inform ako sa coverage, no? Like although na inform naman tamo sa coverage, but the pointers for the exam. And also please settle your financial obligations this week if you can. If dili pwede naman sa Monday, basta you can send me a copy of your examination permit. There will be no clearances, do not worry. Um due to the increased cases of COVID-19 nga ko ano nga na positive, dili sa mi anak mo require nga magpakuan mo mag magpaperma mo og clearance. But what I ask is especially to those who are this is for everyone, ha? not just for those who are deans list, no. Um, for those nga aspiring to to be part of the dean's list, please make sure to comply all of your output sa obang subjects. Well, I wasn't able to give you one, no kay na busy po, no. And koan lang, i comply niyo na tanan kay para at least kompleto na inyong grado, pwede na mi ka deliberate ana, no. Naman yung mga perks po ang being a dean's list, no. Koan kay na siya, mag additional po na nimo nga, nga credentials, no. Kay, trust me, no. When I was in college, it's also a really great asset, no. Not just in your internship, but also when you look for a job. So mara po nang inyo hang koan. For the others, I encourage everyone, no. I know everyone has the capacity to become a dean's list with, with effort and koan. Kay dili mo niingon nga par na sa mga bright no tanan man tana ay ka, na mantay ko ay no kabalo man tatanan dili man ingon nga mga bright raman anak mam kita kung kaya no na to no if if we if we have determination and focus, we can also be part of the dean's list, no? Dili maningon nga, ko andra. No, sila ra kay bright sila. Kaya man na puna ninyo, no? I was a sl- very slow student before. And then, with, ko andra, with discipline and, and motivation, no? And my dedication to learn, I was able to, ko andra, to overcome all of those difficulties na ko sa pag Okay? So, at least ba, no? Dili lang katong mga ko Yeah, katong uban encourage po nako no nga dili mo hunong og skwela no kay lahi rajud nang naapod tay mahuman okay so mo ora jud na siya so, thank you so much everyone for listening um see you on wednesday ha and then again don't forget to 
study, no prepare for finals, comply all of your requirements and outputs, and also um, settle your financial obligations. So, before we'll end, let us pray first. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, goodbye everyone. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye, Dom. Bye, Dom. Bye, Dom. Bye, Dom.